from your local election headquarters tonight. A dozen Democratic presidential candidates squaring off in the fourth debate of the primary season. And once again, there were plenty of fireworks. ABC's Trevor Alt is in Westerville, Ohio, with this wrap-up. Tuesday's Democratic presidential debate set the stage for new issues and, based on the candidate's criticism, a new frontrunner, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who's been surging in recent polls, frequently finding herself on defense. At one point, asked yes or no, would her Medicare for All plan raise taxes? The costs will go up for the wealthy and for big corporations, and for hardworking middle class families, costs will go down. Other candidates then pouncing. Well, we heard it tonight. A yes or no question that didn't get a yes or no answer. You are making Republican talking points right now in this room. People and the jabs continuing like later on. Senator Warren is, is more focused on being punitive or, or pitting some part of the country against the other. This is about universal college, about investment in our HBCUs, about making sure that we get rid of the student loan debt burden. Those attacks a noticeable shift from the main target in previous debates. Vice President Joe Biden. Most candidates avoiding his entanglement with President Trump surrounding his son Hunter's business deals in Ukraine. Biden standing up for himself. My son did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. But like previous debates, the common thread throughout was the importance of defeating President Trump. You know, we've got one shot to make Donald Trump a one-term president. Mm -hmm. And how we talk about each other in this debate actually really matters. We're still three and a half months away from the Iowa caucus, and before that happens, the field very well could narrow. The next debate is happening in November, and so far, only eight candidates have qualified. Trevor Alt, ABC News, Westerville, Ohio.